Aloha, Yappers. I'm your host, King Zilli. And I'll be your co-host, Charles. And you're watching The, the Yap, Yap Show on, on ThinkTechHawaii.com. As we promote tech, energy, diversification, and globalism with ThinkTech Hawaii, The Yap Show, we focus on advocacy for effective leadership, comprehensive youth policies, and programs uh, that are catered towards the success of young adults transitioning into adulthood, uh, especially for the historically underprivileged youth. We're always looking for uh, guests, sponsors, um, someone that has a great idea or something unique and innovative that wants to, to come on our show. If you see us around town, stop us and say something, and we'll be more to have, to have you as a guest. Yeah, Charlie and I work together, co-host. Uh, uh, we're uh, uh, co-workers, pretty much. Mm -hmm. We work in a building here, 900 4th Street Mall. You can see us out here in downtown. You can see us at Ala Moana Mall. Uh, we hang out pretty much um, Waikiki, so uh, we're looking for stories, you know, effective stories for you know young adults trying to make it here in Hawaii. So anybody who's interested, uh, don't feel feel free to approach us anytime and, and approach us, and uh, you can possibly be on our show here. Um, uh, so without further ado, this show today we are looking at um, home studios. Last week we touched on um, creating a home studio. If you're looking at music, beginning music, um, especially if you're on a budget, and we present a couple of budgets. Uh, a couple of different ways that you can go ahead and approach um, and either start your own home studio, either because you're you're a fan or you're somebody aspiring to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we pot we came together with like a, a very cheap uh, for like three hundred and fifty nine dollars. You can start yep. your own. Uh, you can start your own um, right from your bedroom or yeah. living room. Yeah, from your bedroom, pretty much in your know, one home studio, especially in Hawaii here, since the housing is so you know so small. So this week we are continuing that series. And uh, we, we were talking about music last week. This week we'll be talking about streaming services, video streaming services. Uh, but before we get to that, um, I want to see, um, actually for the video streaming shows, we want to, we'll be looking at you know, uh, what services are worth seeking because there's different ways um, for somebody to host your video and for somebody to shoot your video. Um, the different internet providers or the people that, that like Ustream, for instance, will be focusing heavily on today. Uh, what, what kind of budget you'll be looking at. Um, you know, plenty, plenty, plenty wise. If especially if you're a one-man show or you're doing a whole studio kind of show, and then uh, uh, what kind of equipment you should look at buying. Um, it, it can range from just your webcam on your can on your computer. Uh, I think every laptop nowadays comes with a webcam. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just use that. So we'll be looking at that. But before we do that, um, I want to see what's in the news today. Um, we talk about youth, um, you know, policies and strong, effective leadership and education today. So uh, we just want to see what's in the news before we get into our main topic here of home studio. Uh, I found uh, uh, something interesting uh, yesterday. Um, I don't know if you guys know about this. Uh, uh, net neutrality is a big topic. Um, and basically, it's um, trying to uh, decide um, if internet service providers um, can uh, price different people for streaming their service either faster uh, because they pay more um, or uh, slower because you know you can afford it and, and the internet has been so innovative especially for startups <clears throat> people starting up and especially for young people for Millennials that we if we have an idea we just go online and try to you know uh, build our websites or, or start a business online and mm -hmm. mobile banking so um, uh, uh, mobile marketing and all that stuff so uh, we thought we found it to be uh, important that they don't um, set those kind of rules where um, for a big, for a small guy like me trying to I have my idea I put it up there and then they're slowing my services because I cannot compete with somebody like uh, um, uh, even Netflix got in on, on the fight I mean Netflix can be more competitive than I can um, but even they were seeing that it wasn't benefit for that well, along especially for Netflix because Netflix is you know primarily primarily uh, video streaming yeah streaming right yeah. so maybe it'll be kind of beneficial to Netflix which is a pretty big business as well right uh, but they'll be probably looking at paying more though that's 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 the big thing paying more for streaming because or yeah maybe have some kind of deal with the cell phone company or something like that where you know they pay extra ninety nine cents a month or whatever you get free subscription to Netflix or unlimited uh, right something unlimited yeah unlimited like you know now cell phones you can stream Pandora unlimited you can stream Spotify unlimited right. on cell phones without being charged data why can't you stream Netflix right without you know, right right that's that's the whole yeah, sentiment course, behind it and that's why news. Netflix was, that's why they were getting in on the fight on that so uh, yesterday a uh, big uh, on on the lines of that something else broke 
big where the FCC, people are waiting for the FCC to at least do something about internet because they haven't done anything since like, I don't know, uh, 80s or something like they that. They made so. billions of dollars already. <laughs> right. just like, so, hey, well, give, uh, give something back, you know? Right. <laughs> There were some, uh, throw some, the uh, local guys a little bit of bone, throw right? Throw some crumbs, yeah. So yeah, so yesterday um, they updated their uh, definition of what it means to have broadband. Um, so when you go by internet, you know you have different services. You have like basic service, uh, broadband, or uh, like just how how fast it is. And for the most part, the people in the rural side of the country, um, they have slower speeds because they're still dealing with like DSL. Uh, believe it or not, DSL is still out there where you can still plug in to your mm -hmm. phone line. And still get, telecom. Yeah, 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 and you can still get uh, internet just by plugging it to your, your phone line. They still have those, and the standard for that is less than um, having like a cable. So what they did yesterday was updated their definition of what it means to have broadband. And basically, it used to be four megabits per second and uh, uh, to uh, down to download and to upload was one megabits per second and upgraded it to about uh, I want to say. Uh, not want to say it, like 25 megabits per second. Uh, so uh, for them to start, for them to start broadband services, instead of them starting at four, they have to start at 25. So it includes like false advertisement. Look, what they've been doing this whole time is falsely advertising that you know you get unlimited uh, internet access. Yeah, it, once, you, once you hear that, that's that's you know, bull. That's yeah, that's they, they usually not. They cut you off around two gigs, three gigs, especially on a cell phone. Right. Um, and the, the trick behind that, it's good thing you brought that up. The trick around that when you go buy a, when you go get your internet service and it says, oh, you're getting a, a, a two up, one down, or whatever like that. Uh, the trick is to ask them, is it guaranteed? Right. So when it guaranteed uh, means that. Are they guaranteeing that if they say you're going to get 100 burstable up to 100 megabits, so at time that I need 100, I might get in that 100, so you can do a speed test. You can go to speedtest.com to see if you're actually getting that megabits that you're talking about. And wow. if there's also a language behind it, what's megabits or uh, per second, per mm -hmm. uh, bits, and bytes. There's bits. different things on that too. So. But uh, I'm glad that the, the uh, FCC finally upgraded their, their meeting for broadband mm -hmm. um, to 25 megabits. So it now uh, it brings the standard up. Um, we'll see faster internet speeds uh, in the future. Uh, I mean, most people, some people, most people already have those speeds. So mm -hmm. it's not that big of a change, but we'll see for the rural uh, areas. They're thinking about bringing the internet closer so they can still use the phone lines. And there's a lot of copper still running around throughout the United States, so to just abandon that. Um, yeah, because I've been in some places uh, in the U.S. where, I mean, internet is, uh, even, yeah. cell, even <laughs> yeah, cell, so cell, phone, in, cell phone signal yep, is yep. never, I was in uh, um, Bamberg, South Carolina, not too long ago, and driving through there, I didn't have cell phone signal for o over a week, and... Um, how was yeah, that? I didn't know what to do. You know, How was that? Because you're always on your phone. Yeah, I mean, because I, I use the internet for work and everything like that. And not having access to the internet was, I mean, you know, I was off the grid. felt like, you know, I was, I mean, I was cut off from society. So, I mean, just imagine if we had, like, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, outing because of some kind of solar flare or right, something like right, that right. where everything, you know, uh, gets disconnected and... You know, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you, people don't have internet you know, access, and people can't, you know, access their Facebook. Right, and right. Instagram. People forgot how to make paper you phone know, cups. Yeah, telephone. you can't post your selfies. <laughs> you took a good selfie. You won't be able to post it right away. People won't go crazy. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's a good news on that. And uh, a second one today. Uh, what's in the news? Um, uh, 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 well, this is it's already happened at the beginning of the year. Um, David Ige, pretty much, uh, since we're big on, on uh, education here, uh, David Ige, the governor of Hawaii, uh, was talking about adding about $47 million to the educational budget, which I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Um, is it, is it? No, oh, yeah. It's not, it's not like we need more. Yeah, Hawaii definitely needs more. Yeah, Hawaii definitely needs more. They need way more than that. 47 you know, million in two education years. Education department. I remember hey, my, uh, my son uh, was going to Washington Middle School, and the only book he had was for math. Everything else was a handout. Right. <laughs> Half of the handouts I couldn't even understand. I was like, uh, you know, just everything was just all Mickey Mouse, and I, I didn't know what was going on. And and with the know, new with standards the, now, um, the uh, what every, Common Core? Have you, you heard? Yeah, of Common no, Core? definitely. They need tutoring, uh, more tutoring, more books. Right. I mean, stop relying on handouts, especially in middle school. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can understand that for like kindergarten and preschool, but middle school, come on, middle school. 
when I was in middle school, I had a book for practically every class. And I think, you know, Hawaii kids, I mean, you know, they're being unfairly limited, you know, opportunities because you only get to go to, you know, kindergarten once. You only get to go to preschool right. once. You only get to go to middle school once. Unless and you fail, they can stop. Back. Then you start over again. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you got to pay for, I mean, forcing people to have to go right. pay for a decent education when, you know, you have all these educators that are trained properly and whatnot to do so. They don't have the necessary resources to right. really do their job and be effective. Effective. And speaking on that, there's another story too that um, Arkansas School Board of Education. Uh, we'll come back to that. But uh, before we transition to that, I want to say, uh, when it comes to like education and stuff like that, um, looking at young people or or uh, like middle school and um, uh, either transitioning from from uh, uh, what is it uh, preschool to uh, uh, kindergarten, middle school, high school. There's such a disconnect between those those jumps that um, I can't see how um, people don't see that, uh, especially when it comes to, for instance, taking college kids that are coming from, that are growing up in a neighborhood, that grew up in a neighborhood, they're in college already, right? Give them jobs by having them come back to like the, the, the high schools, right? And teaching what they're learning or, you know, uh, being like mentors back to those high school students. Um, I'm pretty sure they probably have a lot of uh, programs like that, but when uh, have they actually consider it as, a part like a job market for those people immediately like right when you get out of high school you go to college you have a job you come back to your neighborhood help those kids transition to college too so it's all of that you know they can figure into that and uh like i said earlier uh with school boards like incompetent school boards or whatnot um little rock arkansas uh, it's another story that's going around uh, um they the state pretty much took over the local school board for being ineffective. Six different schools were not performing up to par. Um, and it's, um, it's, the same, um, it's the same district that, uh, that is historical. I want to say the uh, um, board versus Brown education kind of happened. So they're, they're still having problems over there where the state um, took over the local school board. Uh, and this, this is a long story. You can yeah, go to the internet. There's a lot of kids now. There. I mean, they're not even seeing, I, a, they're not seeing <laughs> a textbook until they reach 10th right. grade. And I guess the, the teachers were like dressing, not having underwears and stuff like that. And wow, they're not coming in, in flip flops. Wow. Uh, uh, wearing beer shirts. Uh, at some point, that happened. Uh, the state had to step in, and uh, things start happening. And, it, and the, the state uh, they completely voted five to four. I like uh, to see their handouts. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to see the the newsletter that went out, right? But uh, so that that's what's going on. Um, uh, let us know what's going on in your neighborhood, and uh, we will talk here live every Friday. We're here um, from the 904th Street Mall. Uh, I'm your host, King Zilli. This is Charles Davis. Um, I think we can go for our first break right now and uh, stay right here. We'll be right back um, on Think Tech Hawaii. It's Friday. Aloha. Be right back. Here's the deal. Um, I'm Jay Fidel, I'm the host of uh, Hawaii, the State of Clean Energy, which is the Energy Policy Forum's program on Wednesday. That's how we call Wednesday Energy Wednesday. We call it Energy Wednesday every Wednesday. <laughs> Are you surprised? Okay, and we, and we try to we get guys like Jim Alberts here from Hawaiian Electric who can tell us what's really going on in energy. We want to be informed. It's so important. It's the most important initiative in our state. <laughs> Clean energy is major, okay? And that's how we cover it on this show. That's the deal. What do you think, Sharon? I think that's great. That's why we're here every Wednesday from 4 to 5, and we hope you all join us so we can hear people like Jim coming on our show and co-host Ray Starling from Hawaii Energy. Okay, Jim, you've been here today. You've seen this. You heard what she said. What do you think? I think it's a tremendous opportunity for people to come together and talk about the issues. Oftentimes, there isn't a good forum to bring these key issues out into the public, and this is a tremendous way to go about it. And the, the activity of this show is essential to keep talking about energy because as you said, it's such an essential part of our lives that we need to pay attention to it and we need to think about the future. Okay, Ray, your turn. Well, this is a special time in the history of Hawaii where we're making some pretty radical changes in the way we uh, use energy and generate energy. And this show is the one place you can count on coming to every Wednesday and hearing something about the latest issues that are on the table being discussed that will affect us all going forward. So 
uh, come join us and if you have some ideas you want to share with us about energy uh, give us a call and let us know we'll we'll put you up here and uh, and let you talk for an hour so uh, come see us thanks Ray thanks Sharon thanks Jim it's great to be from think tanks point of view it's great to have the show we love the show it's our it's our most important <laughs> show so come around and listen to us four to five on Wednesday thanks a lot bye Aloha. Aloha. Welcome back to the Yash Show. I'm your host, King Zilli, and I'm here. Charles Davis. And uh, we were talking about what was in the news. Uh, we touched on broadband uh, being upgraded. The terms have been upgraded 25 uh, megabit per second, um, uh, downed. Uh, we touched on the Arkansas school that uh, uh, the district, the, the state pretty much took over the local um, uh, school. And we also touched on, uh, you know, uh, Governor Ige, um, State of the Union address, uh, addressing the fact that he's going to try to uh, add $47 million to the school budget in the ne uh, next two years. So, um, uh, so on to our so, next subject. So last week, you were talking about <clears throat> starting your own home studio. Right. Right. And right. Uh, you wanted, uh, you were talking about different uh, budgets and um, affordable options right. available to, you know, someone just starting, starting up and, um, you know, the audio world, uh, dealing with, you know, music studio. And right, whatnot. right. So uh, um, pretty much talking about, you know, movie studios and the differences uh, were, you know, just killing me because I didn't really know exactly, you know, what um, what's out there right. and what kind of equipment well, is uh, uh, better, you know, but, you know, less cost, you know, things like that, you know, uh, operational costs. Right. Um, you know, just to start up uh, something small. I mean, there, there is, a, there is, there, there is definitely a difference between the two. Uh, last week we were talking about music studio uh -huh. production, yeah. And this week we were talking about uh, video streaming. And uh, last week the music production, uh, we were emphasizing, uh, you know, equipment and uh, the type of equipment that you can use and how to treat your environment so you can get the best sound possible. Uh, I would say this also applies to video streaming as well. Uh, in a sense that you need to control the environment to get the best possible sound. Um, they may have different ways that they approach it, different ways <coughs> that they mix it, and we have uh, four different uh, plans that I'm actually, uh, my boss has approached me lately uh, to uh, come up with a plan. They're, they're trying to stream, uh, do like a video streaming services to their students. And they're trying to figure out a way that they can do that because they come up with a lot of tutorials and a lot of uh, different educational content and sometimes they have live streamings uh, of graduation that they do and they want their students since they're coming from around the world. So uh, I find it interesting. This is something that I actually did for work and uh, I thought it would be interesting to present here on the show, looking at different budgets on um, if you're thinking about doing your own streaming. Now, uh, streaming is uh, uh, what we're doing here right now. Um, if you're watching us on the internet, we are streaming uh, live right now and um, one of the service that they're using is uh, Ustream service that they're using. And uh, there's different ways that you can go about it uh, and all you need is a uh, computer. So without further ado, uh, let's look at the difference. Um, the, uh, I presented a different, different kind of budgets that you can look at if you want to go ahead and stream and what type of equipment to look at uh, and uh, pretty much what type of technology you should be expecting. So um, like I did last week, I presented a couple of budgets, one for the advance and um, for people on the budget. Um, and pretty much uh, you can do it for free um, everything that I'll present on here there will be a free version of some sort that you can get into um, so what I further do to the one uh, we call this the startup uh, the first menu pretty much I have it here we call it a startup and it requires nothing more than a computer uh, if you have a, a computer pretty much um, and it has a webcam uh, and that's all you would need and then you can go to a service like um, uh, we will be focusing on Ustream, not that I'm advocating for Ustream or anything like that, but they're just one of the best services out there. They do have free um, plans that you can start with, and I'm choosing that because of that, and they have great software that you can use as well. But uh, like I said, you can do this on a YouTube channel. You can create your own YouTube channel. Do you have a YouTube channel, Charles? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, you know how you, you save videos to your YouTube channel? You can create playlists for your YouTube channel and people can go on there and watch what you're watching maybe. Oh, okay. um, so yeah, uh, so uh, on your YouTube channel you can put together playlists 
uh, sort of things that you're interested in, and people that find those things interesting, they can watch as well. So that becomes your channel. Or you can host your own uh, live shows, or you you can update, you can uh, shoot something and then put it on your YouTube channel and stuff like that. A lot of people do tutorials like okay. that without paying for the extra uh, stuff like that. So YouTube is definitely one of the things that you can do. I, I know in, in China, I think it's called like Youku or something like that. So oh, wow, okay. uh, yeah, so so definitely that. So but uh, for this plan, um, I would say you need a uh, you can get you can start with the Ustream monthly plan. Uh, monthly pro plan if you're thinking more marketing and you're you have a, a set audience and um, uh, you have like a website or something like that mm -hmm. um, and you have a little bit of money to spend uh, I'll say start with the Ustream monthly pro, uh, pro plan and that's like uh, $99 to start out it's up to $999 but I think that just $99 is good enough to start with then that gives you an account with them uh, you can embed a video uh, up to like four different websites or something like that. So if you have your own website, you can just embed that video on there. Um, and then you can stream live with that. Or you can choose to a free plan too, like I said. Um, go there, start it out, try it out for free, uh, learn what you're doing, and then go ahead and purchase your next plan. Uh -huh. And then with that, okay. you will need to get uh, what they call a, produce, a, pro a production software, a desktop production software. And what this does is... Um, uh, so you have, you have the means to, uh, uh, to stream your media, right, where people can go and see it. Yeah. Now, for you to be able to uh, provide that media, or for you to do, be able to add different, uh, um, let's say, templates mm -hmm. uh, or uh, um, different videos, let's say you're, you have a live person, like I'm here right now in a studio with Charles, and we had a guest or some sort, or you see that graphics on here, all the graphics that just appear below here. To be able to do all of that, or the logo that's like right here, even the background that you're seeing back there, to be able to do all of that, you need a software that can, uh, you can um, use it as an emulator, uh, that can um, uh, uh, encoder, a uh, software you can use as an encoder to be able to do that, that can read that format. And that's, uh, for this one, uh, Yushun Producer Pro. Um, I would say you, you, they have a free one you can use, uh, the, the difference is that you cannot do like 3D um, or you cannot do uh, a couple of features that are um, not a part of it. That's, that's one of the biggest difference. Um, so, but for this plan, I'll say choose the Ustream Producer Pro. It's $199. So right now you spent about $300. Um, if, this is if you have your own website, you have a marketing and you have somewhere you are um, targeting. Uh, $300 isn't really nothing at the moment. Um, this plan actually goes up to 600 After we name everything, it's $642.99 to get you started. And this also includes uh, a recording interface. Um, if you watched the show last week, we show you a, a package that costs $339. Uh, but you can eliminate all of that just by using a computer that has a webcam already, has mm. a microphone in yeah. it. Um, and you don't have to do that. Uh, like I said, uh, most of these things just add more depth to your your video that you're going to be presenting. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the first package, six hundred and forty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. You can have a streaming service. Actually, there's cheaper one than that. You can do it for free. Everything I named up here, just choose the free version if you get to the sites and you're able to figure it out. Okay. Um, so plan two, um, it will come up to. Uh, and again, this is something that I had to do for work, um, find out what's the best services, and I think it was something worthwhile if somebody's thinking about streaming and what, what, how, what type of money goes into here. I would say think tech is, is up there in like 20,000-ish, 30, probably up there uh, with the equipment and the streaming quality and capabilities that they have. So um, and this is my, my, my speculation. And for this plan, it's $1,499 in total. And that includes everything I said before, uh, except you now you'll be adding like a, a, a good camera. Um, uh, let's say a Canon Vixia, for instance, for $199 that has a 3.28 megapixels um, into it. Uh, and it's for $199, you can get that in stream. Um, that's if like, it, it's worth your while. And then you can add tripods. Um, you have uh, a professional condenser mic. Mm. Um, uh, you can have uh, uh, you know clip-on mics uh, like I have right here. Um, you can get these in packages and packs. Uh, um, 
but yeah, the the clip on mics pretty much. You get them in packages. Yep. <laughs> that one. Hello. But yeah, uh, and it Hello. makes it it makes it easier. Hello. You don't have to have a microphone right here and, and stuff like that. Uh, uh, earpiece, of course. Uh, if you want to be, a, um, you need a producer or somebody that that will either guide you or. Uh, help you um, transition and, and, and such. Uh, and again, you need that external, uh, the, like monitoring headphones, like I mentioned before on, on, on the on the um, on the previous show. And those are like uh, the the most expensive thing on here is a um, what? It's like uh, audio box. <clears throat> The, mil the most expensive thing on here is what? The audio box. Audio yeah. Bars, yeah. It, the $299. Sound, sound card. Yeah, the sound card. And just because you want a good quality sound. And no matter how big or good the studio is, you know, uh, you still need to be aware of how the sound um, uh, emulates and propagates between uh, back and forth so you can get that clear sound. So that, uh, that plan will cost you $1,499. Uh, $1, um, and also, uh, something I forgot to mention here, um, maybe you might need to upgrade your computer, because any computer would do, but you also need like a pretty fast computer. So your processor, you probably need to update your processor. Mm. Um, I recommend Intel Core i7. Um, uh, they have uh, much uh, faster versions now, and it clocks really well. Um, and it's, uh, you can get it online for $139. Uh, depending on where you find it, you can probably get it cheaper. And um, that will be upgrading your uh, computer, and that will add to that. You can also have like a green screen, uh, green screen skit like uh, back here. All uh, the graphics you see, it actually, the, uh, if you're in a studio with us, it's green, uh, like you're seeing on our screen right now. No, so, actually, we are really uh, <laughs> in um, a city somewhere. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in Honolulu. In a secret location. <laughs> Not to be named. Honolulu is dark. Man, it's, it's dark coming in out of the back. Na, 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 na. Um, yeah. But yeah, Hong so Kong. that, that that's right now. <laughs> that's the second plan. And uh, the third plan uh, is getting up there now, um, and it goes up drastically. Uh, the third plan is $5,454. <laughs> this plan, I'm not, I, I can't afford this plan. I'll probably st uh, start with the free plan and then go, uh, <laughs> I'll, or shall we just start from there, unless my, uh, uh, my job is willing to uh, pay. Maybe the next plan is better. <laughs> the free plan? <laughs> But uh, so uh, when we come right back, um, uh, I th we need to take a quick commercial break, and we'll come right back. I want to finish these three plans to see uh, which one out there we're going to go all the way up to pro. And after we look at that, uh, give you a little few pointers, and then we can close our show, see what's going on with Charles, um, and uh, hopefully you tune in. We'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Kili Akina, president of the Grassroot Institute and host on Ehana Kako, a weekly program on the Think Tech Hawaii broadcast network. A Hanukkah Co. means let's work together. Think of the sad alternative, let's not work together. Here in Hawaii, with all of our diversity and the richness of the people, it's important for us to come together around issues on the basis of what's right, and what's good, and what's going to serve the common good. And that's what we try to do at A Hanukkah Co. Every week we interview movers and shakers, people in government, business, and other sectors of society to talk about how to create together a better government, economy, a better world here in Hawaii that can bless the rest of the world. I thank you for your attention to Think Tech Hawaii, and we look forward to seeing you every Monday, 2 to 3 p.m., on the Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. We're Ehana Kako, and we wish you well. Aloha. Welcome back. I'm your host, King Zilli, and I'm here with Charles Davis. And uh, it's Friday, it's live, and we are coming to you from 900 4th Street Mall. Uh, last when we left, uh, I was talking about, uh, we're, we're talking about um, home studios. Um, uh, last week we talked about music, now we're talking about live streaming. If I'm talking too fast for you, uh, please give us a call, leave us a comment below the video. Can we take callers Let now? us know. We can take callers right now if we have calls, yeah. Um, Anybody can call can in right now and ask tweet us a question. <laughs> Please you can tweet free. us on ThinkTech at ThinkTechHI. <clears throat> you can do that too. Um, please hurry. Um, uh, that's getting in. Um, you sh so for the third plan, uh, well, I was talking about the third plan uh, the, that costs about $5,454. Uh, that included everything that I was talking about before with the camera, except now you, you'll be adding like more cameras. So the more mm -hmm. camera you have, the better cameras you have, the better it gets. Um, and uh, the more like, money it, it also costs. Yeah, the more yeah. money it costs, pretty much. And you know, you add lights, um, uh, a location, 
um, and uh, probably uh, a couple of staff um, that adds up as well. Uh, and uh, the biggest thing that you'll probably be upgrading here too is adding more computers because um, you'll need computers to handle some of those heavy encodings. Um, and if you want specifics on this, you can always approach us and we'll give you specifics. Right now we're just touching on how um, why the prices go up so high. So besides what I talked about earlier, the computers will go up. You probably get a better green screen, you add more cameras and more lights, uh, pretty much. And the last screen, uh, the last one, uh, which I call the Pro Package, and pretty much is like um, to have something like in here, or at least get close to it, you would need to spend a couple of, you need to spend a little bit, right? Uh, and we're looking at $18,474. All these plans, they don't include taxes or uh, if you're ordering from oh, Amazon. <laughs> if you're ordering from Amazon, which I got most of these prizes from, uh, they don't include shipping as well. So you got to put that into perspective as well. And these include everything I talked about, except now you're upgrading. You're moving from like software to more hardware that can handle uh, even more powerful things and are more stable and compatible. Like for instance, if you're looking like a, at a TriCaster 40, and that's a production software like we showed you before. Um, uh, Ustream has a software that helps you encode or add different graphics, like the logo you see here or the backgrounds. Um, there's a much better way you can do it, uh, much faster, uh, oh. easier way to do it. And the TriCaster uh, would be that. And uh, what's the price on that one? <laughs> TriCaster looks like you're spending about Four thousand, about five thousand dollars yeah. for a TriCaster. Yeah. New tri, new tech TriCaster, forty, and it's a V two. Yeah. So. So. Uh, that's the, like the V two is um, a little pricey. And that's just the hardware, and then you have to buy the software. Uh, software, you're probably looking at another. The uh, control surface, not the software, but the control surface. So it, you know, mm, it comes. It's like a computer, hours. right? So it's like you're buying a computer tower, and then you're buying the keyboard mm, for the okay. computer. So that that's basically, okay. and well. that alone comes up to like six thousand dollars. So and then you add some more cameras, uh, more professional microphones. Wow. Um, I like to. Uh, I added a high fidelity studio wow. headphones. Wow. <laughs> I added like a high fidelity wow. studio wow. headphones. So it's like. You can like. Uh, I guess I'm not become. I guess I'm not opening a studio. I'm not. I'm not picking plan four. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's where's just, the free plan just, again? Uh, the free plan is you just go online, uh, okay, find the, right, the free yeah. ones. Absolute free plan is YouTube. Uh, to get up to this quality, looking like the minimum I put it at is like eighteen thousand dollars. But you gotta have a passion for this kind of thing. I mean, you can't yeah. just do it just because. It's not I mean, because you wanna you're have just a passion. In it. You gotta, you know, know what you're doing, and you know, want to do it. If you can't, if you don't have the drive and the determination to make music, to have a music studio, or to this have is a not for you. Plan studio. four is not for you. Right. Either it's plan three, plan two, plan one. You need to free plan. YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you're interested in doing any kind of uh, like a, a video streaming or a music streaming type of thing, and let's say you're going to school for it, um, uh, you don't have to go to college for this. Uh, you can go to a technical school, a two-year technical school, you can do that. If that's your passion, you know what you're doing, like I said, advocate for education, different types. There's a lot of different types there. And uh, on that note, actually, um, uh, did you watch the State of the Union address? Uh, for Hawaii? That, it's, it, would that be called this? Yeah, the state of the state address. That's what, that would be uh, Hawaii, but the state of the union, um, the president. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I didn't watch it live because I was working. Okay. Um, so um, I, I didn't watch it live, too, because, yeah, we were, <laughs> we were both at work. We're in Hawaii. Right? We, get, we, <laughs> right? we, we but, miss everything that happens <laughs> in D.C. on D.C. time. Right, but, you know, it was, it was a couple of uh, interesting points. Our votes don't even count. I, actually, <laughs> Nah, it does. Everybody votes counts, um, percentage-wise, we, we can say. But uh, I wanted to make. I wanted to point out uh, there was a point that, um, of course, it was viral media. People were cutting out stuff, uh, and things started popping out. So I went there and watched it myself, and a couple of things stood out to me. Um, I hope it does go through because State of the Union address is just basically saying this is what I hope to do. Um, it's not necessarily what you're gonna do. Uh, it's just like this is what happened. You rah, you rah, you know. Um, uh, everything's good, and this is what is going to happen next, pretty much. So I was glad that uh, one thing that he brought up is like, uh, you know, when I from high school to college, I've been working on um, education uh, advancement or 
closing the gap, um, as we like to call it, um, for uh, especially for the historically underprivileged youth. And that means like people of color or um, your parents didn't really go to, uh, your parents didn't go to college, you're the first one to go to college. That's um, anybody, um, uh, you know, uh, you come from a, a detriment uh, uh, community that doesn't, um, that's really not in a good, uh, it's not a really great atmosphere for school or whatnot, because uh, property taxes have, uh, um, for the most part, property taxes fund education. So the, the better your neighborhood is, I don't know why that hasn't changed yet, but the better your neighborhood is, the better you can expect your school to be because of, of that fact. So I like the fact that uh, they were making, he was trying to make um, two years of college free, community college, so anybody can go to community college for free. So that was one thing he touched on that I think was, uh, was good. What, what are your thoughts on that, uh, making two years of community college uh, free for everybody? Yeah, I mean, you know, because, you know, education is a human right. Um, and, you know, people that are determined. And that's and, your belief, right? Yeah. No, okay. Education is all, well, it is a human right. right. It's um, documented in the uh, Declaration of Human Rights. And um, the UN, I think Article yeah. 26. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, but it says that, you know, uh, education all the way up to, you know, high school should be free and affordable right um and you, know, you should have a good quality uh, be you should have access to a, a, a decent quality education um and you know but on a higher level it's you know state something that you know you have to merit right uh to you know pretty uh to further your education on a higher level right um so what is merit what does merit mean define that elaborate on merit you know maybe someone who um Who's financially sound, right. or their, their family's financially sound, marriage to go to, to a university because they can't afford it. Um, what about those people that are, that have the motivation, the determination, the knowledge, but they just didn't fit in that matrix of uh, people that, you know, get full scholarships, right. or maybe they're not a poster child material um, or something like that, so they didn't receive a full scholarship. Maybe they only got a partial scholarship. Um, and you still got to pay the remaining balance right. of your tuition. And even if you do get the scholarship. You get the scholarship doesn't mean that your family can afford to, you know, to send you, uh, to pay for your education. Maybe it's too far away. You got to right. travel. Um, yes, not everybody campus. lives next to the campus. You right. know, some, some people live hours away to any university. Uh, so there's a lot of challenges. I mean, you can go on and on and on. I can list challenges all day. But, yeah, education is a human right, and it should be, I think, affordable or free. Right. Uh, free sounds good to me, but at least for your two years, because <laughs> you're not, good you're not guaranteed a, a job, especially in uh, today's economy. You know, we have over one trillion dollars, over one trillion dollars in student loan defaults, and th those are not the students that are in uh, forbearance that could potentially be going into default this year, next year. And or student loan never goes away. Student loans don't go away. <clears throat> so I, I mean, if one trillion dollars isn't a big deal to the government, um, then hey, you know, don't uh, don't. Uh, make the first two years of education in community college free. If it is a big deal to, you know, government, um, taxpayers, then yeah, maybe we should reconsider and you know, think about make, making the first two years of community college free. Right. Um, maybe, one, one of the biggest arguments that they're making is that um, it's, all, uh, it's almost always it's way cheaper anyway, so like, it's an affordable um, kind of education, so why make it free um, to start with? Why don't you just uh, make it affordable. Stop raising it, tuition every yeah. year. Stop trying to find ways to increase profits and raise the, the prices of certain things, whether it's textbooks, um, you know, uh, monthly to, uh, you know, uh, My question per is, credit, what, what is free? Uh, what, course, what, what, what are they, you know, how, um, okay, so they brought about. Okay, then what will merit free? You know how many people a year especially will be when you free. talk when you look at the the, the be income base the, the health care then what the you gotta right? make minimum wage to qualify right you know <laughs> especially looking at the health care the health care thing when uh when it brought up the um you know the obamacare and whatnot you know i'm all for it you have to be a single mother that makes minimum wage with two or more kids um and then qualify possibly right you might fit in the pool then you gotta take a test <laughs> And that's what I'm talking about. It's like the, the, the bureaucracy and the paperwork. It usually comes with a lot of paperwork yeah. and a lot of taxes. Like I'm not, I'm not. I'll take the poster I'm boy. Not for, uh, I'm, I'm I'll not. I'll take the, like, the poster boy that, like, opportunity. Put me on any poster as long as you give me a free scholarship. McDonald's. <laughs>
But yeah, so uh, that's a, but uh, my thoughts on that is like, uh, like there's such a huge gap between high school and <coughs> college anyways, uh, um, that when you do go to, when you do enter into college, uh, for people in that situation, uh, coming from a neighborhood that's not maybe as, as uh, um, you know, affluent or able to uh, provide those students with the needs of that high school or uh, education that they need for them to go to college, maybe they, uh, they're not good, um, their math program wasn't as good or their English mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. or their writing program isn't as good. So mm -hmm. now when they go to college, which I actually experienced this, um, I found out that my, my high school, I don't know why, it was so behind in, uh, math or whatever so when I got to college my first math class was for me catching up to college so math, took math so, yeah yeah so I was already behind and that I paid money for that class and it so didn't count pre algebra then they allowed you to take algebra 101 yeah like you took that so preliminary so, so, yeah, yeah, so, so that, that like that like held me back a little <clears> bit so it's like um, and I think it's very so important. that's another merit so that of, that two years being worthy to yeah. further your education you got to take a test so, so that, that two years who could be could make that difference yeah. in that gap between the high school and the college mm -hmm. if especially if you're making this uh, free in the community college anyways um, uh, my friend it's, it's you know it's good college you know uh, they have great they have great ones and they have those ones that some people feel like it's a continuation of high school it's 13th grade, 14th grade, and 15th grade, and whatnot. So, but it still, it still is that. But isn't that discouraging? Because everyone is unique. Everyone learns differently. Everyone. Right. I mean, a, a lot of people who of goes back to school, who goes back to school. So you, that's essentially, you have to understand the, te the the test writer for you to really be able to pass a test, any any test. To to get into you know, to college comprehend the the question, to understand the, the you know, and the writer has to be able to be a very good. Test writer. What are you talking about? Like, like for, for, for an exam for entrance uh, to a university, you have to, to be able to get okay. English test, right? So are you saying that Entry are they going to get adult. rid of the test to get? No, I mean they should really or? consider you know options of or you know just consider that you know every student learns differently. Every right. student is unique, and has different ways of comprehension and things like that. And when you take it, when you give it in the exam, I, my personal opinion, it doesn't really. I, okay, so I guess you I, I, you lost me a little bit. So what are you touching on? Are you um, Talking, so we're talking about uh, at, uh, the Admission. president touching on making the, the first last two, two, years, two years free, free right? Yeah. So what are you talking about testing? Are you saying, or are you No, okay, to, you were talking about you were, um, you had to take tests in Minnesota, you had to take uh, uh, Algebra 100. I had to, even though I was in college, yeah. not that I had to retake the test. As a part but of my you're, courses, you're, I had to take a just to get in. Yeah, not, to not to get in. Well, just to start. Just to get to, just, just to, to be able to, to par with my college. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, because yeah, okay. it's a prereq. Right? It's right, a prerequisite, right. Right. right? So you have to take those courses right. in order for you to graduate. Right. It's on your list of right. pre-required uh, pre courses you have to take uh, for that university for fulfilling their degree requirements. Right. Okay. So now if you didn't take that, those, that math 100, you probably would never be able to graduate. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I see what or you're saying. Or you continue yeah. on to your 200 level courses. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So that held me back. That had me spending a little bit more money than I needed to, um, if that was uh, if that wasn't the case. So uh, I hope that goes through. Uh, who knows? Um, or maybe at least make and it. Maybe you learn differently from other students, and you know, maybe it takes you a little bit longer to be able to, you know. Community uh, college should be the next high school. How about that? Yeah, no, it should. I, I, I think, mean, it, yeah, it, uh, you know, two years free. So, um, Friday, Aloha Friday. Uh, uh, thank you for being here, Charles. Uh, we talked about you. pretty much everything: <laughs> uh, how to make your home studio, uh, how to uh, come up with streaming. Um, if you have, if you have any questions, uh, you need me to go into more detail. I'm more than willing. I have Excel sheets here. Um, I, <coughs> I, I, li I really did do the research on this, so I, I can actually provide you the list of things that I have. Um, if you have any thoughts on the educational um, uh, things that we brought on here and we touched on, uh, any thoughts on uh, uh, making community college free for everybody, let us know. Uh, here, every Friday, we're live, we're happy, and thank you for being here, Charles. Always thank a pleasure. You. Thank you. All right? I'm your, I'm your host, King Zilli, every day here, Friday, Yaf Show. <laughs>